Now, many big organizations are expecting to boost spending on digital acceleration. While the pandemic applied pressure in the virtual and digital space, many businesses that had paused investment while faced with uncertainty are now looking to make up for lost ground. Well, their priorities are in cloud business intelligence and analytics. And with all that expected increase in digital property, there's going to be a growing spend on security and compliance. Well, to gain an insight into digital transformation in Treasury, we're joined by Mark Smith, Global Head of Liquidity Products at Goldman Sachs Transaction Banking. Welcome to Cybos TV. Uh, if I can start by asking very simply, what is digital acceleration? Well, digital acceleration is really an extension of digital transformation and entered the vocabulary as a result of the pandemic. COVID forced companies online to embrace e-commerce, new forms of digital uh, payments, and to reimagine supply chains. At the same time, banks saw the flip side of that. They saw an increase in online banking and a commensurate reduction in manual forms of payments, forms of in interaction, paper-based forms of payments, and so on. So there was a a, a shift, a sort of shift in momentum, uh, an acceleration in momentum uh, in digital transformation trends as a result of the, the, the pandemic and the changes that it forced upon both companies and, uh, and their banking partners. OK, so, Mark, that's the explanation. But what are the key elements of digital transformation in the Treasury's arena? Sure, I'd, I'd probably highlight six key elements. Um, first, cloud computing, which drives flexibility, agility, and the ability to take advantage of software as a, as a service. Second, APIs to drive real-time capabilities. Third, robotic process automation, or RPA, to eliminate mundane manual tasks. Fourth, machine learning, to make better predictive decisions. Fifth, artificial intelligence to move some decision making and problem solving out of the, the human world into the computing world. And finally, virtual accounts, a transformational way of segregating and organizing bank account information. Transformational, uh, Mark, for those who are not familiar with virtual accounts, can you briefly elaborate on, on what they actually are? Sure. They're, think of them really as a way of organizing the information within a, within a bank account. Um, imagine being able to break down one individual bank account into uh, tens or hundreds or even thousands of mini accounts, each one with its own opening balance, closing balance, and, or, or, and debits and credits. The trick to be able to, to do that is to assign each virtual account within the, the, uh, the main physical bank account its own clearing recognized account number. And that enables the bank's virtual account engine to attribute each transaction to the correct virtual account. So in that way, the, the bank can attribute and organize bank account data to these, these sub-accounts, these, these virtual accounts. And when you've done that, you're able to obtain um, certain levels of efficiencies and, uh, and scale uh, and agility uh, as, a re as a result of being able to, uh, to organize data in that way. So it can be used to simply rationalize the number of uh, traditional bank accounts that you have. It can be uh, used to uh, drive greater throughput of accounts re receivable reconciliation by assigning each client its own virtual account number. And it can even, they can even be used to, as the subledgers to drive on behalf of structures such, an, such as in-house banks. So they're a very flexible, agile uh, tool um, that's, that's extremely scalable. OK, so given that, Mark, what is digital acceleration in, in Treasury actually trying to achieve? Sure, I think there's, there's a couple of things. First, you know, an increase in efficiency and a reduction in, in cost. And then... Uh, an improvement in working capital management, an improvement in liquidity uh, management and cash forecasting, and an improvement in risk management. And again, specific to Treasury, uh, yeah, COVID, the pandemic was a was a key driver because it required treasurers to have a much better view on their actual and projected liquidity. 
position in order to to manage that uh, to manage that risk. Um, so treasurers with with better analytics, better data, um, better predictive tools, and a better view in their liquidity are better able to serve the rest of their their organisation. Um, so digital acceleration was was really a, a, a great way for for treasurers to embrace new technology to to manage manage risk and improve working capital management. Mark, tell us how Goldman Sachs is helping companies digitally transform. But we're a digital first bank uh, hosted entirely in the cloud with a rich suite of APIs and a, and a digital, uh, sorry, a, a data-driven philosophy. Virtual accounts are a core product of ours and, it's inter and they're integrated into all of our systems, including you know, billing, uh, credit, reporting, and payments. We can even clear checks through our virtual accounts. Basically, anything a, a traditional account can do, a virtual account can do. So these products are designed to help clients digitally transform. And we find that when clients integrate with us, they very quickly realize the efficiencies, economies of scale, um, improvements in, in working capital management that digital transformation, digital acceleration is designed to achieve. We've even completely reimagined the onboarding experience to, to ease that process. We've, we've reduced uh, onboarding times to, to uh, days and we can uh, uh, open account, accounts in as, as few, uh, in as short a time as a few hours. So we're really trying to partner with our, our clients to help their digital transformation journey through the tools that, that we've developed. OK, so look, really interesting stuff. But sadly, Mark, time has gone against us. But thank you so much for joining us on Cybos Television. That was Mark Smith, who is the Global Head of Liquidity Products at Goldman Sachs Transaction Banking.